Hello and welcome to my studio. This is vlog number six. It's vlog number six. Oh my gosh. I'm Stephanie. <laughs> this is Deliberately Creative and I'm glad you're here. If you have any comments or suggestions about how I'm vlogging or the th topics I'm covering or if there's something you want to see, let me know by leaving a comment down below and click that like button if you are enjoying this type of video. I really, really love these and I want to keep going with them because they're making my heart happy. Yeah. Really quick, I'm going to be uh, showing you a few of these colored versions of coloring pages from my new coloring book that I am working on editing this week. That's part of my job this week is to edit this video and edit the coloring book and get it um, all submitted to uh, KDP for publishing. That's my goal this week. It's only Tuesday. I can do it. I can do it. Let's get started. People have been wanting to see some of the images that are being made for the coloring book. I'm coloring some to put on the back cover of the coloring book. Cover is the only place where I can do anything that's color. So this is that one from previous video where I showed you partially cover colored and I love how this turned out. This was just on the plain old text paper. And I got to a point where I could not put any more color on this page. You know, you fill the tooth up to a certain point and you just can't push any more color onto the paper. I then went to some of the uh, Bristol style cardstock. And this is, these are all eight and a half by 11. Oh, and the coloring book's going to be eight and a half by 11. So there's room for journaling or for putting an inspirational word or something like that at the bottom of your pages. The pictures also will not go as far out to the edge because I want to leave enough room so that people will be able to cut these out of their books if they want to and use them as posters. And I want you to have enough room on the edge of the paper so we don't have uh, trying to color on the edge. I hate trying to color on the edge and have it fall off, you know. Anyway, <laughs> silly pee. And I love this bubbly bubbly swirling wave and then oh this little bird he is so so cute and I was watching a, a video from uh, Lindsay the frugal crafter and she was showing how she used clear gesso on mat board to make her coloring color pencils to put more color and layers on and I love doing it now this one ended up looking a little bit like coloring on wood uh, it felt a little bit like coloring on wood too because I had put way too much gesso on and it was too thick and when it dried it had, had ridges. I could have sanded it. I didn't. I like the effect. That's what it sounds like when it has gesso on it and that's what it sounds like when you don't have gesso on it. And you can't really see in this, in this view here, but it did smear my ink ever so slightly. But since I'm covering the whole thing with color pencil, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to be using a combination of the Derwent drawing pencils and the Derwent color soft. So I just have them all right here. Uh, I have found that this magnesium cum pencil sharpener works really well with the Derwent. It's uh, got a big enough hole so that you can get in there and actually sharpen. So I hope that you guys are enjoying these types of videos. If you are, um, leave me a comment and let me know what you like what you don't like and what you would like to see better. And I always like the say two things that are good before you say something that's not good. I think that that's a way to kind of smooth it over and show that you watched the whole video. You can make comments about things that you liked. And then if there's something that kind of hit wrong or I didn't do, you know, a good enough job explaining, let me know in a kind and positive way. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get off of here and just color. So let's see. So 
So something I've, I've learned over the years, and I learned doing this when I did my doodle gems for a long time. I was doing doodle gems for the first full year of my channel. And if you're interested, they are little sort of gemstones that are made. Let me see if I can find something and I can show you what doodle gems are. So I was doing these doodle gems and these were from back in 2016. These are all on my channel um, in the, the doodle gem lessons. So I learned how to put the white down first so that I could save the white. The white sort of acts like a resist. And so these are just a few of the ones that I've done that I really, really liked. I love this ocean jasper. But that's what I'm doing is I'm saving the white in a few spots so that I can keep a highlight in a few areas, just, just a few, just, and I may or may not be able to remember where I had put it, but when I'm coloring, I will find it. This is that sort of jelly, the ribbons on the inside. And these are the tendrils coming off. I love how this turned out. I did it with that neurographic style because I love the rounding. That is my favorite thing is doing the rounding, softening all of the, um, the intersections. See like these right here, softening those intersections. It makes connections through the whole picture. Uh, yeah, I just, I love this. Now I am going to take a bit of white and just sort of lightly scribble a bit of white up here in the very top so that if I want to put some lighter green or something so it feels kind of like it's just under the water coming up this is not going to be in the deep dark depths of the water this is coming up towards the top and you might have to tap yours off every once in a while because that one of the things that this does, let's see, look at this, is that it really wears your pencils down fast. So if you um, are somebody who is really precious about keeping your pencils as long as possible, um, you might not want to work on a sanded or um, gessoed surface because it is going to eat your pencils more quickly. However, you're going to get a depth and richness to your colors that you never expected. So there, that's good enough for now. I uh, have a picture of a jellyfish on Unsplash that I'm looking at, and I am really intrigued by the bright yellow of the bell and the sort of golden yellow that's coming down through the ribbons right up here at the top because that's where like the light's coming through. So this is the deep cadmium, nice orangey yellow. And you kind of have to just decide what you're doing, where you're going. Your, bl your black lines will get uh, softened by the, the color, will get muted. So if you want to have, you know, bright, bright lines, you're going to need to go back in and put pen lines on them. Neat thing about doing a coloring page this way, though, is that you're not limited by the by the reference picture you're looking at. I'm just putting a little bit of yellow along some of those tendril lines, the tentacles. There it is, tentacles. That was the the word I was looking for.
this is not the same jellyfish as that reference, as that reference, but I can still use it as a reference <laughs> because I'm using it as a coloring reference. It's not the, the artwork reference. just look at it and go, ooh, that feels good. So yeah, this is, I needed this. I needed a day of just coloring, just kind of that relaxing art. And truthfully, coloring you learn so much while you're coloring. If you take it as a place to experiment with what colors work with each other, what colors, you know, mix well, what colors don't, I am using this as an experiment. I am not, you know, I am, you know, I do want it to turn out, I look pretty because I want to put it on the back of a coloring book. I'm also using it as sort of a decompression time, a relaxation time, a time to grow some skills. Ooh, I like that. I do want to put a little bit of this darker up in here, and I know it's going to kind of go muddy because I'm putting it up on top of some of that cadmium yellow, which, you know, color theory yellow and purple are opposite each other. They tend to make mud. And I can tell the areas where I had left white and or put white and where I hadn't. I should have just drawn the whole thing in with all of the stripes with white, but I didn't. But I love the blending. So I just went and grabbed a blending stump. This is like working on sandpaper, so this blending stump is getting its uh, little tip worked here. So just like working with a pencil, you want to keep rotating it. Now what I've got is this, it's actually a turtle swimming underwater and there's these light rays that are coming through coming through like this and the dark water or the light and dark of the water up here. There's going to be light and dark going in so that we can have that effect of it being close to the top. There's ripples and I'm kind of following my lines that I have going here but I'm not I'm not worried if I cross over the line. Cross over the line, folks, it's okay. This is water and it is flowing. And you know, the lines on a coloring page are suggestions. They are not to handcuff you into a specific pattern 
You can use them as a very rigid guide or you can use them as suggestions. I, I happen to like using coloring books, coloring pages as suggestions for things. Um, I'm not done with the jellyfish. I'm just letting it sit for a bit so I can get some of this background in. I am going to now grab the ink blue. And the ink blue is actually going to end up being a shadow tone right in on top of the green, right in on top of the that smoke blue. See how this starts to go in? You don't do it in a, a solid path across. If you look at the re reference right here, this reference is showing you the idea of how how the water is rippling above and how to throw some dark colors in and light colors in and sort of get that that underwater looking up through it effect. So as you're towards the top of the page, your waves are bigger. As you come down, your waves will get smaller. So your shadow lines, your little shadow marks are going to end up becoming like little dots. Like that. But don't do them in a pattern. Try and try and keep it broken up. It's not a pattern. So Give yourself a few here, a few there. I take a different blending stump. And I'm gonna look at that starting at the dark side and working my way up. I'm getting that natural transition. Oh, that's so cool. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. That's where one of the jellies is. Kind of like a magic painting page. Okay. I just, I've, I've got to show you this. Okay, I'm on top of pencil, so that's the reason why it's feeling weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is coming in so nicely. green and that smoke blue kind of working around my dark spots for a minute there's some white in here Bumps. 
And this is the first layer. Look at that. I did not like put layer upon layer upon layer here. This is the first layer. And if I like it, I can leave it. I don't have to, you know, labor over this hours. And see, I am not being a slave to the pencil line or to the lines in the pattern of the coloring page. Just go in and have fun. These are indicators. They are not strict jail line, jail cells that you must stay inside of. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. I will come back when it's all done. This turned out really cool. I'm very pleased with it. I'm so excited that the new coloring book. Okay guys, this is so pretty. It turned out, I'm so excited. This little guy turned out beautifully. It's going on the back cover of the coloring book. So cool, so excited. And I hope that you like this little glimpse into the studio. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for following along on this journey. I love sharing my time in the studio with you. I love that you are sharing your time watching with me. Click that like button, share the channel, and you know, if you want to subscribe because you want to know more, click the subscribe button and turn on all your notifications if you want to be notified. And I'll see you next week here on Deliberately Creative. Remember, go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. Want to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.